around the monastery of Pedralbes. Monumental Barcelona. The monastery of Pedralbes is located in the high part of the city, a jewel of Gothic architecture after which this route is named. Pedralbes Square next to the monastery stands out thanks to the harmony of its buildings. Close to it, the monastery square allows access to the religious building, a temple founded in the 14th century by Queen Elisenda of Moncada, James II's fourth wife. The place was known as Petras Albas, origin of the name Pedralbes. Its three-story cloister is considered the biggest Gothic cloister in Europe. It holds a beautiful medieval medicinal plant garden, as well as one of the jewels of Catalan art, St. Michael's Chapel, which resembles the Venetian aesthetics of Giotto. The charismatic Bachada de Monastir leads to the gardens of La Creo de Padralbes, where the huge Gothic-styled wayside cross stands on a nine-side column. The Church of Santa Maria Reina is one of the most original buildings of the Catalan Nausentisma. This architectural complex, clearly Renaissance, resembles the Pazzi Chapel, made by Brunelleschi in the Santa Croce Church in Florence. The delicate modernism of Villa Helios was due to Manuel Joaquim Raspal, architect specialized in this kind of summer villa. Something worth seeing in Casa Bartomeo is its beautiful multi-level gardens. The industrialist Josep Bartomeo designed all kinds of ornamental details inspired in music on the main floor, where there is a cozy music room. It is there where some of the most important Catalan music stars started their careers, among them soprano Montserrat Caballé. Another remarkable location in this route is Torre de Santa Catarina, which has undergone numerous transformations. Dated between the 17th and 18th centuries, it shows some Gothic elements, which lead us to assume its medieval origin.